This DVD course has to do with disarms. Now, we've done uh, the first one was with fast hands, the second one with fast knives. You learn the basic drills. You should be getting awful fast. Uh, what comes after fast is how to take somebody's blade away from them. Again, we start with the big sticks, and the reason is they're easy to see, easy to manipulate. If you have trouble with the knives, you would obviously go back. Uh, you also learn a little bit of coordination. Uh, you learn how to overwhelm people with it, uh, basic patterns of attack. But the real joy is when you get into the actual disarm. And the reason that's important is because you have to force yourself to be faster. And you have to come up with a strategy whereby you can take somebody's weapon away effectively and easily without getting cut. Now, there's four of the basic patterns on this DVD. There will be four on the next one. This, uh, the first basic pattern is called cross down. And it's really simple. Shoulder, toes to the shoulder, one goes to the hip. Back up to the shoulder, the other one goes to the hip. And obviously you're crossing it right in front of yourself and you're putting your power up. Boom! You see the heel go up, you see the hip come down, and you can really put the power on it. Now, the funny thing is, power isn't that important, but it sure does feel good. So why not? Why not have power with your speed? Why not put a little weight into that strike? Power really is all about weight. It's not how much muscle you've got, it's how much weight you can put in the other person's body. And one, two. My partner, Forrest Will. And the way this works. We're a little close to the wall, you may hear a few bonks, step back a couple inches. Now we come down, and we try to cut the last inch or two. If we miss, we blew it. But if we can just tip that last part of the stick, that's your fault, not my fault. I never make a mistake, right? We made lots of mistakes. Now, stand like this. Your obvious targets are going to be the neck. And the secondary target backhand is going to be that major target. The life support system. There goes the computer. There goes the life support. And what I'm trying to do is I'm not hacking him. I'm slicing him. I don't want to get my blade stuck in him. I don't want to, don't want to dull the blade. I just want to come right. And it's good to have people do this. Just sit there and keep sliding and sliding and getting faster and learning their control. <clears throat> Step back a couple of feet. Stand your stick, right my nose. Now, one good exercise is you learn how to shave the stick. And you just see if you can just run it right along and not knock it out of position. It's a good fun little exercise. Again, the essence of this is in control. If you can't control your own body, and if you can't control your own weapon, how can you possibly hope to control his body or his weapon? So you have to get control first. It means you go slow, you look, figure it out. Speed will come with time. And it will come rather fast. You know, there's a logic to this that can't be denied. So, now we put this together with a circle of blocks. One, 
two, down, up, and there we go. And I'm on the outside, I can be here, it doesn't matter. I come down, I come up, twirl the six, and rock and roll. I try to tip the stick the last two inches. Always have good eye contact. If you miss, don't worry about it. It's a mistake and you get to learn. Now, we go to empty hands. Start off with the basic cross down and even though you've got a power stance, dropping that hip into it, the most that we're doing is sliding up our hands. Just a nice slippy high five. Don't worry if you miss. If you get a little hard, don't worry about it. Just adjust. And circle the blocks. Basic technique, back up a little bit, we're ready to fight. He throws that punch, and I move off to the side. You like that? Mm -hmm. Bang. Oof. Now what's happened there, you probably can't see it, nice big red spot there, I was a little hard on him. He punches, I angle off, I slap it, down, boom, again. At this point, there's several things you can do, but you can't do any of them unless you can hit her. He throws a punch. Good. Throw it slowly. Slap. Grab. And you may remember this from the speed drill on the first DVD. I've got them out here. I'm not going to worry about a second hand. I use the back of my hand to hit the belt, hit the waist. If I raised it and chopped, there goes the kidney. If I had a weapon, there really goes the kidney. Bang. Now, from this point, there's the break on the arm. There's the spike, the armpit. I've got lots of things here I can do. Nice little wrist twist. Once you've got that, you can do what you want with it. Slow punch. Slap, grab, strike, up, in. I go right underneath, and I control I put my knee into the, right above his knee. I don't lift my heel. I might move my foot in further, but I fairly well got him. And at this point, hit me with his hand. I sort of got a nice little technique there. Ah, he managed to free that arm. Doesn't do him any good. And if I get a hold of him, I got a broken arm here. He's got a guillotine in his neck. His spine is effectively twisted. He punches. Cross down. Bang. Up here. So I go over. Make sure you go real slow because you'll break it off if you're practicing and you snap it on somebody. 
I usually take it to here for beginners, and I caution them, and then as they get better and better, we start to explore. And obviously, I'm leaving him, I'm pulling my knee back enough so that he can move his foot out and move out. He comes in, slap, grab, pop, pop, and I can always pop him with a punch, power punch right from the back. Boom. And it gets interesting. Slap, grab. When I hit him here, he will fall down. I call this pubic punching again. What's happening is I'm driving it down. The angle goes like that, and he can't stand. I destabilize his hips, and he goes down easy. And it's fun, punch, because you can just get right over here and play with people. And just push down on their hip and watch what happens. It's sort of fun. Now, uh, he kicks. He, circle, he punches, circle blocks, cross down, cross down. I've got him, chop, chop, cubic punch to the kidney. Push down, angle him down, he punches. Kick first, warm up, boom! There's the cross down, right across the neck. Lots of ways to use this puppy, a lot of ways. Now, Let's say, for instance, he's got the knife. He stabs me. Cross down. You heard a slap. I tend to go a little extra hard when I do those. His arms are getting nicely red. And at this point, it's sort of interesting because I've actually effectively disabled his arm. What are you going to do? Elbow into the chest. I manage to grab it. I wrap it. Peel it. I've got one of the weirdest gooseneck you'll ever see here. I slice him. There he goes, wheelchair bound. He stabs. Oh. Oh. I break things on the way through. Let's do that one slow. You okay? Yeah. What hurts the most? <laughs> I can do it. Again, he comes in, I hit him hard, hard, and I just kick the leg, and I kicked it, uh, I tend to be a little overzealous. <laughs> Even with a rubber knife, I just tend to get excited and go, oh boy, <laughs> now I get to, you know, be out of control. No, no, don't ever be out of control. Figure out how hard is too hard. If you do it too hard, help the guy, you know, give him a nice pack, pair of crutches. <laughs> He stabs. Slap down. I'm holding that knife. I've got it. I've got the fingers there. Yeah, what do you want? Did you want here? The other hand? <laughs> you want the other hand? Oh. You're welcome. Now, he kicks. Circle of blocks. He strikes. Cross down to the neck. Move on in. Oh, he got out because we're both slippery. But I've still got the arm. And I haven't been cut yet. And I can strip him just by pulling it up. Or I can drop down. And then come up. There, his neck is now open. And I hit him as hard as I can. I don't want this anymore. You don't want this anymore. You don't want my wallet anymore. <laughs> he kicks. Circle blocks. He cuts, cross down, cross down. He's, yeah, go ahead, he comes on through. I just wrap that arm up, take him around. He doesn't really have much of a thing here. I'm breaking his neck, his arm is totally torqued. He's going to try to get out and do an acrobatic kick. I said, <laughs> thank you. So, <clears throat> it's okay. Use these exercises. Get faster, get more power. Give somebody a rubber knife. Never a real one, it's not worth cutting yourself up for training. Okay, now, I want you to write like this, and I want you to stab me right there as fast as you can. Uh, did you get me? Got my shirt, I know. Now, how's your arm feel? I think I don't want to use it. 
Okay, that's good. Strike. <coughs> So, learn how to disarm. Jack up your speed. When you ever get out of the blade and you don't, you're going to start getting faster. You have to. And with the logic of the system, they won't be able to deny your speed. You'll, you'll have lots of speed. You'll have lots of neat tricks to play on people when they try to stab you, right, Forrest? That's right. <laughs>